okay so uh, we will uh, discuss about the economic aspects of uh, different solar uh, cells and in one having doubt okay so in the uh, mostly next class uh, just i am preparing the slides okay so i will uh, get the uh, exact uh, figures okay so as of uh, 2021 so those figures will be integrated in the uh, next class so that is why i am uh, lagging in the uh, i am not uh, handling economics analysis today okay so i will go with the uh, things where we left in the last class okay so last class i have uh, discussed about the uh, module okay so what are uh, module and what are array how the solar cells are connected okay so from uh, let us say uh, generally uh, for any module uh, circuit okay so for any module circuit so the uh, generally your cells will be from 18 36 30 or even 72 or 60 okay so those kinds of uh, things are connected in series okay for a single uh, module okay so here let us say uh, in this diagram they have given 36 cells are connected in series okay so generally uh, each cell has uh, something around uh, 0.5 volt okay so each cell uh, has something around 0.5 volt okay so for uh, each and each cell uh, will uh, produce uh, 30 micro amps to 36 micro amps per centimeter square of current okay so let us say uh, here in general the standard uh, uh, design of any uh, let us say crystalline solar cells that has an area of uh, 15.6 into 15.6 cm square so if you multiply this and uh, this it will be around 9 to 10 amps okay so by the way if you want to modify your uh, solar cells okay number of solar cells uh, in a single module let us say from uh, 36 to 72 so what happen your uh, power factor power uh, will be uh, high and your uh, voltage and voc and ac everything will be higher than your uh, 60 or 36 cells okay so by the way you can uh, get the more efficiency in uh, 72 cells and less efficiency at uh, 17.1 and 70 but most of the cases 36 cells uh, solar modules are gen- uh, in the market uh, i'll tell you the reason why uh, why it is because if we have uh, n number of cells which means which makes some complications in uh, series connection okay so like uh, let us say Uh, in few cases it may uh, cause us some uh, de uh, derating factors like um, temperature or uh, shades or dust dust or uh, wind velocity so everything will influence the performance of the cells okay so because of the large uh, solar cells consisting in a single module which affects a huge in the performance okay so i'll uh, show how the performance will be varies with respect to the different conditions okay so for any solar module okay so let us say you can calculate your total current okay for a, for a, from the single circuit let us say so this is already a single circuit okay so each and every cell is connected uh, in a series like this okay so for this single circuit you can calculate your uh, uh, current total current from this formula okay so it has m series let us say it has m uh, number of uh, cells in parallel and n number of cells in series let us say here if, if you can see so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so currently 10 cells are connected in series and four parallel rows okay so here you can say so n is your 10 and m is your 4 okay so and vt is nothing but your total voltage generated within the cell and i not your uh, saturation current and i l is, is your short circuit current and uh, remaining things are constants for the uh, respective things okay let us say if you if you take the uh, if you want to draw the iv curve okay so with rest, we know uh, we have n number of uh, cells are connected in series so since if the collectors are connected in series which means that it indicates your voltage will be multiplied okay so we, uh, so we need to multiply uh, n into voc so your total output voltage will be uh, multiplication of your voc into n similarly and each and every cells are uh, connected in parallel which means that your current will be multiplied so which means that you are you can multiply your uh, current with respect uh, with respect to your number of uh, cells in parallel okay so uh, by the uh, so same will be integrated here okay so if you want to calculate uh, short circuit current and maximum power point current and uh, similar for voltage so you can uh, multiply with the respective uh, numbers in the series are parallel so you can get the individual values for the respective things 
okay so uh, in the last class we have discussed about this so for any solar module or any solar generator so it will be uh, looks like a diode okay so if the lights uh, hits the surface what happen your uh, solar cells starts to generate the power okay so uh, you can you can get the uh, the useful energy okay so under uh, different uh, irradiance can be calculated from the active region so that is your first quadrant of the any iv curve okay so here so whatever the second second quadrant okay which indicates your reverse region okay so where uh, the dark current okay so which can be seen here similarly uh, so we can uh, define these things okay so from here I, as i said so the performance how uh, the performance will be modified and uh, let, let be uh, given from the mismatch effects let us say so different mismatches so first one i'll take so whatever the solar cells in a single module there are 30 i said 36 uh, solar cells are available so each and every cell should have the same property okay so which means that uh, for a single cell it has 5 amps and 0.5 volt which means that each and every cell should have the same property which means that uh, so for electrically uh, all the solar cells should have the identical properties okay so then only we can get the uh, mismatch we can eliminate the mismatches between the solar cells and the interconnection okay so then only we can uh, connect each and every cells in the proper way okay so on the say at the same time so for uh, different arrays if you go for uh, different arrays or pv modules what happen is so with respect to the conditions okay so uh, wherever the solar cells okay so let us say uh, if the dirt or uh, shades or any kind of effects is happening in the solar panel so what happen is if your solar cells are connected in series which makes uh, so you you need to uh, get, uh, take the lowest possible value okay so what are, uh, let us say see the graph here okay so here there are uh, two uh, two system so uh, two two thing one is ideal solar cell other one is non ideal solar cells which means that in ideal solar cell uh, almost all the cells available are generating power okay so we can get the power from the all the solar cells which are operating in a good a good conditions okay there is no effect, uh, there is no uh, mismatches within it okay so that time we can see the iv curve like this okay iv curve like this but whenever uh, there is some uh, shade or there is some mismatches what happen is your uh, performance will be the de uh, derated from the ideal uh, value okay so because of that so what happen is this curve will be slightly uh, comes down your slope will varies okay so because uh, because of your uh, series resistance and shunt resistance so there will be uh, re resistance plays a huge role in uh, dissipates uh, dissipates the power in the cell okay so particular cell so around 36 cells are there so let us say if one cell uh, all are connected in the series if one cell is uh, shared by fully shared so what happen is your uh, uh, total uh, whole module will generate zero power okay so all the generator uh, power from the other 35 cells will be uh, utilize uh, will be uh, sent to the 36th cell what happen is because of that reason okay so all the current the, the for a single cell it has some uh, maximum point to uh, to allow the current and uh, and because of that reason what happen is so because of the high flow current from the other cells which passes through the 36 cell which makes the solar cell to uh, generate more heat okay so uh, in technically we can say that uh, term as a hot spot okay so we can say uh, uh, in all the solar cell we can say that uh, that uh, 36 cell as a hot spot so which means that because of the large heat what happen is there will be some unwanted uh, uh, problems okay so let us say uh, we will explain those things in the uh, other slides uh, uh, upcoming slides okay so this may, uh, mismatch so generally depends upon the operating point okay so whatever uh, what is the operating point of a particular pv module and circuit configurations how you are connecting whether it's a series or parallel so with respect to the connections we should uh, decide and uh, and then the different parameters like uh, shading or irradiation or uh, everything okay so we should uh, think the uh, other parameters okay so we cannot uh, control the other external parameters such as let us say irradiance which is not in our hand and similarly shades so whatever the dirt which is falling on the solar panel so which cannot uh, avoid it 
okay so at that time so whatever the things we cannot uh, 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 keep on cleaning each and every time okay so there are uh, in some sites there will be a huge debt in some sites there there will be a less debt okay so because, because of the, these variations we, we uh, these things we cannot uh, handle but we can uh, get the uh, solar cells to produce the optimum power okay so by the way we need to make the internal circuits uh, let us say by uh, using some electrical uh, uh, devices to get the at least the uh, useful pro useful output without uh, doing any harms to your uh, solar cells okay so uh, if you do not add the particular uh, device what happens is your uh, solar cells will uh, uh derated very fastly and your uh, lifetime will reduce reduced very drastically okay so by the we need to consider everything before uh, we connect it let us say uh, if you are if we are connecting solar cells in series okay so what happens uh, so because of this uh, mismatches okay so we'll uh, discuss about the mismatches in the last class i have shown you a few slides so a uh, few of you have uh, asked the doubt why it is uh, reducing how it may be okay so you can get the answer from the this uh, slides so this slides will uh, explain you the detailed uh, things about the uh, re reduction in uh, particular uh, output okay so let us say if your uh, solar cells are connected in series what happens is because of this so from the basic fundamental we can say v total will be the addition of other two okay but your current will be same okay so let us say this cell one okay so this cell one uh, it has some uh, different uh, radiation or different parameters and cell two it is also gives uh, different uh, things because of that if you look at the figure if you look at the graph so what happens is v2 produces this much of uh, open circuit voltage and v1 has this much of open circuit voltage uh, and finally you can add both the voltage to uh, give the combined voltage but your current will be almost same but your current will be almost same but we cannot uh, define uh, so uh, whether the cell one has uh, higher uh, yielded the higher current or cell two yielded the higher current okay so irrespective of that so what uh, uh, in among all the cells whichever is produces the lowest current okay lowest current that is your uh, total uh, that, that is your total current for all the cells okay automatically you have to reduce the uh, cell uh, cell performance to the let us say uh, cell one uh, yielded uh, 10 10 amps cell two yielded 5 amps okay uh, but if you if you make uh, both the connections so but your, your final output current should be equal okay so uh, for that reason we need to uh, reduce the cell one output as 5, uh, 5 amps okay so for that reason what happens is remaining 5 amps will get uh, lost okay so that uh, so we need to change it. let us say i'll uh, show it in the next uh, next time. okay so because, because of the uh, thing let us say uh, if uh, look at the short circuit current mismatch okay so if your uh, initial uh, voltage is fixed let us say your voltage is fixed what happens is your current will be uh, looks like this your current will be looks like this so because of this uh, uh, your v1 produces this much of current but v2 produces this much of current uh, so for that reason you need to uh, drag your uh, total uh, iv curve to your lowest iv curve okay so whatever the energy generated by this so whatever uh, let us say at this point so from the red line to this blue line okay so within this area that will be uh, uh, wasted that will be that uh, that that much amount of uh, power will be wasted so because of this reason okay so we need to reduce these matches okay again so if you uh, uh, give the solar uh, shading let us say if any cell it has some uh, shades okay so it can be uh, reduce the power output uh, to zero even if you are uh, if you if you have connected your cells in series what happens is if single cell is uh, completely um, shared okay so what happened because of that there will be no uh, uh, effect from the single uh, single cell let us say in a from one cell okay so what happened so if one cell is fully covered by the shades there will be no power in the then we need to uh, the whole module so whatever the power produced will be zero okay so because of the single cell effect okay so for that we need to eliminate this uh, uh, parameter 
so by adding some bypass diodes okay so we need to isolate the uh, particular uh, shared cells okay so by the way we can eliminate the uh, this this kind of uh, losses okay so because uh, among 36 cells so one only one cell is uh, shared remaining 36 uh, cells are performing good so we can utilize those powers okay so that's the concept here so by adding uh, isolated diodes so we so bypass diodes we can eliminate these effects so uh, here the graph shows let us say if there is no uh, shades okay so what happens is you can generate uh, 9 amps and uh, 0.65 volts and 5.85 5, 5 uh, watts of power at the maximum peak point, uh, power point. But if the solar cells are uh, uh, covered uh, partially, what happens? Your uh, power generation is almost uh, reduced to 2.17. So almost I have covered the 50 percentage of the solar cell. So if if the solar cell covered uh, even 50 percentage, your power is not uh, almost so reduced to the half. Okay, so let us say if the solar cell, okay, uh, the, those things are connected in series. Okay, if you uh, consider, so if there is no shade, so what happens is you can get the this much of uh, power in the uh, solar panel. But uh, if one shell is shaded partially, if one shell is shaded partially, what happens? So we need to consider the shaded cell current. Okay, so shaded cell current will be your uh, final current. Okay, so because of that, your uh, this uh, green line, sorry, this uh, blue line. Okay, so this much amount of power uh, can be generated by the uh, cells connected in the series, but we can get this much of uh, power only from the uh, this uh, particular uh, series because of this shape. Okay, so be, uh, because of this reason, whatever the power available will be wasted. Okay, which we cannot be utilized unless otherwise we add some other device. Okay, so what happened because of uh, the other cells, so this uh, other uh, cell circuit voltage, so everything will be comes to the shared cell. So because of that reason, again, the temperature of the particular cells will increase and it may cause the following effects. Let us say, I'll give you the following graph. Okay, so let us say, so if you make the series connection again, so these are the effects. Okay, so if one cell is shaded, so what happened? Your power point will be uh, ready uh, for uh, the unshared shell. Let us say if there is no unshared, so it will it can produce this much amount of uh, power. But if the single cell shared, what happened? Your power uh, power point, your uh, total power will be reduced from here to here. Okay, so we we lost almost uh, 70, 60 percentage of energy from the uh, single cell effect. Okay, so. And we need to connect uh, different, uh, different cells in series or parallel. Okay, so with respect to the uh, different uh, combinations, we can get the final output. Okay, let us say if uh, if the number of cells in series is one, let us consider number of cells in series is one and number of cells in parallel is also one. What happens is the, whatever the uh, this graph shows the power output. Okay, so this much amount of power can be generated. Let us say if the number of series increases, Okay, so if the uh, cells available in the series is increases, what happen? Your uh, uh, current will be always same, but your uh, output will be, your voltage will be increases. So even though you will get this much amount of energy, okay, even your uh, solar cell, let us say, your solar cell has, uh, still you can uh, utilize up to 30, 30 amps or 10 amps, okay, so more than 10 amps, but we can get this much amount of power. Okay, so we need to uh, do some other uh, modifications. Okay, so uh, for that reason, so I'm going to increase the parallel cells. Okay, so if we need to increase the parallel cells. Let us say if we increase the number of parallel cells, so only parallel cells, what happens? Your current only will increase, but there is no uh, change in voltage. So because of that reason, we need to, in a single cell, we should have both uh, parallel and, uh, and uh, series. Okay, so we have to place the cells in uh, both the both way. Okay, so then only we can get the maximum power. Okay, but the number of uh, cells uh, available uh, we can be connected in parallel is restricted for the uh, with respect to the different uh, modules. Let us say if you want to connect the 30 cells, so that will be uh, our here according to this. So this graph you can say for 30 cell solar modules we can make five number of cells in the parallel. Uh, different, uh, differently for uh, 36, we can make, so for different alternatives. 
so like that why uh, it is so because we need to eliminate the area okay so single uh, cell should have uh, less their lesser area to generate the maximum power so by the way we need to uh, modify your uh, connections so your uh, panel area should be as much as uh, optimum one. okay so we need to check that one so accordingly we have to uh, place the solar cells and let us uh, as i said it's a hot spot heating okay so whatever the things because of the uh, single uh, cell share so what, what happens is because other uh, nine cells so whatever the energy generated by the other nine cells will be uh, flows through the single uh, share cell so what happen because of this so whatever the uh, over uh, things okay so which will be added to here because of that this single cell uh, gets heated up okay so everything will be heated up so because of that what are uh, your solar cells okay so your solar panel sometimes your uh, glasses okay so glass covers may be cracked there will be some uh, uh, melt okay so our, uh, there are uh, more uh, unavoidable effects because of the uh, heat uh, generation okay so these things are called as your hot spots it's important uh, and, and uh, most of the cases uh, uh, in most of the solar panels it's uh, it is happening as of, uh, still okay so uh, still there are n number of research going on to avoid uh, this effects completely okay so in that is a, uh, actually in my college days i went to uh, a power plant okay so in uh, in gujarat okay th there is uh, from uh, that company is called sun edison okay so you might have uh, seen the solar panels in in our roof okay so uh, those uh, solar cells solar panels are uh, mount, uh, installed by them okay so actually what happened is uh, in that company they gave uh, the project okay so which is uh, there are what are the effects are uh, during that internship time they gave us the task so what are the problems you can identify from the solar uh, solar modules or uh, solar power plant okay so uh, by the way so when we are seeing or when we are uh, looking through the software or uh, different things so what we can identify is so there are n number of effects so apart from the uh, dirt or apart from the irradiation or apart from the things so uh, because of the electrical connection so because of the electrical connection and because of the temperature there are n number of uh, unwanted effects okay so which we have uh, indicated uh, to them okay so they have modified uh, uh, different different uh, cells so st still they are doing some research okay so there are uh, n number of research still going on the uh, to reduce this uh, hot spot heating okay so here let us say so for uh, reducing so one of the basic uh, uh, general uh, uh, procedure is we need to introduce the bypass diodes in between the solar cells okay so what happen so by introducing the bypass diodes so what happens if uh, 35 cells are uh, acting good okay only one uh, cell is uh, uh, acting bad so what happen so this bypass diodes will uh, bypass your uh, that that uh, that uh, poor diode from the uh, total uh, cell uh, performance so it will uh, bias the particular cell so remaining things will be forward bias the particular uh, uh, that uh, poor uh, cell will be in the reverse bias okay so by the way we can uh, we can reduce the uh, particular effect and uh, we can uh, uh, get the maximum power as well as we can reduce the uh, heating losses okay hot spot losses okay so this is one of the uh, we can say this is one of the important uh, role okay so but uh, if we cannot uh, introduce each and every uh, cells uh, between between each and every cells we cannot introduce uh, bypass diodes okay so because of uh, if you introduce uh, let us say your cells as uh, 36 okay so for uh, 36 uh, cells if you produce this much amount of power what happens is if you uh, if you give uh, for uh, the whole 36 if you produce one uh, bypass diode over each cell what happens your uh, power will be reduced uh, this thing like this from here to here okay so if you introduce uh, uh, n number of uh, diodes from 3 to 18 what happens your uh, maximum power point will be reduced from here to here okay so this is one of the reason we should not use 
uh, we should uh, reduce the uh, di uh, bypass diodes uh, usage between the every solar cells. Okay, this is one of the reason and cost. Okay, so we should also reduce the cost of the solar cells. So for this, for that reason, okay. So in general cases, what they will uh, do is so for a single bypass diode is provided between 12 or 18 or 24 cells between 12, 18 or 24 cells or in a single series. So they will provide for a series they will give one diode. Okay, one bypass diode for a series. Let us say uh, this series has 12 cells. So for one series they will provide 12 cells. So similarly for each and every section. Okay, so we need to check those things. Okay, so let us say look at the diagram. Okay, so what happened is so because of the uh, bypass. Okay, so uh, in the last case, if there is no bypass, what happened? So whatever the shed, uh, energy generated by the shared cell will be your final output. But now we can uh, get the so this uh, full string is uh, share, let us say this shell is shared. What happened is the the remaining this string will be. Uh, consider as a uh, reverse bias to say. Okay, so everything will be, uh, this whole thing will be uh, passed. So uh, what happens is uh, whatever the energy generated, which will be uh, sent to your uh, final output. Okay, so 0.6 volt is generated by the, uh, the remaining unshared shells, so which will be uh, given to your final output. Okay, so that is what the idea of, uh, for introducing your bypass layer. Okay, so these are some effects. Okay, so just uh, you can see. So let us say if your uh, currents, okay, so uh, between the short circuits are matched. Okay, so let us say if uh, two solar cells are connected like this, and uh, two solar cells, uh, short circuit currents are matches. So what happens because of the similar uh, properties? Okay, your uh, solar cells, so your both the solar cells will be forward biased. Okay, so forward biased. So with that, uh, you can say your current will be uh, sent to your uh, final output. Okay, so that is what your uh, uh, principle uh, here. So that the, at that time, your uh, diodes, so uh, the diodes will act as a reverse bias. Okay, so uh, the effect of uh, this bypass diode is zero at that time. Okay, if the short circuit currents are matches. So if there is a mismatch, okay, if there is a mismatch, what happens is, so because of this mismatch in uh, this cell and this cell, okay, so between two cells, there is some mismatch. So because of that, let us say this cell one introduces uh, uh, some shades, okay, it has some shades, okay, so it, uh, but this cell it produces some good effect, okay, so whatever the energy available here, it will be forward biased, but here it will be reverse biased. This whole uh, things will be reverse biased. This will not be account for your final output. Okay, so that is the concepts. Again, so your open circuit voltage is uh, accounted. So same procedure. So whatever uh, uh, we seen for the short circuit, so same will be. So for the general uh, good cell will uh, act in the forward bias. Your uh, bad cell will be in the reverse bias now. And similarly for the mismatch. Okay, so same. So we can see the same principles here also. So you can see the uh, performance like this. Let us say if the shells are not uh, shared. Okay, so let us say one shell is uh, shared. Uh, there is no bypass diodes uh, in the uh, circuits. So all the cells are in series. Okay, so what happens is uh, during that time. Okay, so let us say if there is no shell. Okay, so uh, nine uh, nine unshared uh, cells uh, will yield the power like this uh, red color. So one single uh, partially shared cell will yield the power this much amount. Okay, so if you see the combined output of the two two cells, so you can get this much amount of uh, voltage. But uh, as we know, your uh, short circuit current will be same. Okay, so what happened? Because of uh, this is what the uh, general case. Okay, so because of the shared cell. Okay, so let us say it's a initial. Okay, so if your shared cell uh, your, if you increase the uh, level, so what happened? Your uh, shared cell current will be reduced. Your shared cell current will be reduced. So because of that reason, your output current. Okay, so this combined effect. This is this is the final output here. Okay, but your output effect will be reduced from here to here. Even though your nine shared cells will yield higher power, we cannot utilize uh, this this uh, power for any case. Okay, so if you not introduce the bypass layers. So similarly, so whatever the things, okay, so these are the area which shows your uh, dissipated power. 
okay so this much of uh, amount of power is uh, share wasted because of this single shared share okay so it may be partially shared okay so if you add bypass drive so what happen is so wh whatever the um, shell the shared shell will be uh, far, uh, reverse biased okay like this so the iv curve the characteristic of a shared cell will be looks like this okay so what uh, so if you see the combined effect you can get uh, the graph like this okay so if you look at the negative effect okay so this is your negative effect so the last power okay so this is your dissipated power from the single particular shared cell okay so we can get this much amount of power this much amount of power within the solar cell okay so addition of uh, by uh, by by uh, so bypass diodes will yield your maximum power okay so let us say if uh, cells are connected in uh, parallel okay so if uh, cells are connected in parallel so since we know that your current will uh, sir yeah sir uh, the bypass diode will work uh, when we have a mismatch only no sir yes. yes 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 but whether it is good or bad sir, for us while uh, while adding a bypass diode In so if you if you add a bypass diode okay so uh, for each and every cell if you add bypass diode which will uh, uh, affects uh, uh, two two losses that is it uh, we, uh, it will increase the cost so first one so as i indicated here okay so if you look at the slide here okay so what happen if uh, one shell is uh, introduced uh, between whole uh, module so what happen because of that your uh, last power will be this much if you add uh, if you increase n number of uh, cells what happen your last power will be very great okay so for, so for that so this is the reason so we can add uh, bypass diode but it has some optimum uh, value okay we cannot add uh, to the uh, all the all the level okay so to all the cells okay which will uh, affect in the uh, bad effect okay so uh, because of adding by so what is the reason behind the bypass uh, diodes uh, is so we can uh, make the uh, we can make use of uh, uh, extraction of uh, maximum power second point is so we can avoid the hot spot effects so that's a uh, two reason but so if you add more number of bypass diodes that will be your uh, again uh, that will reduce your uh, effect so what do you want that will not be obtained from the Uh, process. Not answer. Yes, sir. Okay. So again, yeah. uh, control panra na angle sir. Maximum output control panna angle sir. Ah. Oh. Ado on the diode switch da panna mani mas. Ah, illa pa. Ado ado ano badi na vara. It vara. Okay. So we will uh, look into MPPT. Okay. So maximum power point tracker rabbi jolo ang. Okay. So we will uh, discuss about those things further class in the further classes. Okay. So maybe. Ah. Oh. Sir, uh, whether um, nowadays all the solar cells are equipped with uh, this bypass diodes or? Can you provide? Can you provide? You know, so everything. That uh, bypass diodes. You know, that's what I mean. Like, our solar marine. That's what I mean. Like, diagram. Like, the counter gun marine. Not uh, looks like this. Okay. So each and every one of the bypass diodes. You know, that's what I mean. Like, that that is not the meaning. Okay. So that will be executed. So total, that is another one. That is what I mean. Like, one, one, one different solar cells. Not that one. Actually, I mean, one, one box. Okay. So total, one box. That is what I mean. Like, so all the diodes. So what about the uh, things? Okay. So all of them. That is what I mean. Like, one circuit. That is what I mean. Connect. over solar panel liyum nammala and diodes undu nammala paaka mudiyadhu okay ellame undu pathina or box la or junction box la so everything will be connected as you said each solar cell ku or diode vechirpaangala illana eppdinga sir ah not to each every solar cell okay so for ipo undu pathina or panel undu pathina for 36 cells irukku appdi pathina so something around 18 cells illa 12 cells ku undu pathina or diode illa 30 or 30 cells ku undu pathina or diode So based on the uh, location, geometric location and uh, conditions, okay. So if you want to know, I mean, how much we can we can get the uh, optimum. We can avoid the unwanted things. Okay. So based on that, so they will provide the diodes. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. So again, uh, these are some connections for the uh, parallel. Okay. So again, as we know. So for uh, series, we are connecting uh, for connecting series are uh, uh, parallel. So with respect to that, we will get some output. 
okay so uh, for uh, number of uh, things in uh, voc or uh, cell one and cell two you can get the, this blue line and uh, uh, red line indicates your uh, different cells output and this the uh, black line indicates your final output combined output okay so for uh, both the cell operating it's a better point so we can say there will be a uh, contact between all the lines okay there, there, is, there is your maximum power point so from that we can get the maximum yield the results the energy okay so if you look at the mismatch uh, effects in arrays okay so if you want to connect the things in parallel okay there, there are n number of modules that is a uh, these two modules are connected in uh, series and these two two modules are connected in series and two but if you see all the all the modules are connected in parallel as well okay so what happens is so parallel is nothing but uh, not only parallel it is also connected in series okay so we can consider uh, all this uh, all this let us say consider this as single uh, uh, single module that is is uh, and similarly uh, this is single module and this is single module so what happens is that if there is some effect in the single module okay let us say the first uh, thing uh, the first string let us say we can call this as a string so number of arrays in the so particular uh, uh, field okay so we can say that as a string okay so if you look at this string so there are uh, some effects like this there are some shades uh, available in there so what happened so as we know uh, from the basics we know so these cells can be uh, can be uh, considered as a series so these uh, are, are, are strings are connected in series so the effects of the different strings uh, can be uh, uh, based on the let us say if the, these two things so between these two we need to add one bypass diodes are between these three we need to add one bypass diodes which uh, yield uh, maximum power okay so based on that we can add some bypass diodes to avoid so whatever again the effects of this so if the single cell uh, or single array uh, has some shape what happen whole string will uh, produce zero effect so to avoid those things we need to uh, introduce some uh, again so bypass diodes between the arrays uh, arrays let us say strings are uh, between the modules so because of that we can avoid the uh, that effect okay share share effects but uh, so we need to uh, uh, give so because of that what happen is there will be some resistance okay so there will be some resistance between the diodes okay so since these diodes will be so let us say so this uh, this modules produce some some output and this modules produce some output so because of the uh, different parameters between these two diodes there will be some resistance between the bypass diodes okay so we need to alter that uh, bypass diodes okay so we need to that effects so for that what they will do is they will add some blocking diodes between the these two okay so what uh, this will uh, in, uh, give you is so whatever the effects comes here and whatever the uh, effect yielded here okay so everything will be uh, counted and whatever the bad effects will be blocked by the uh, this uh, blocking diodes so that's uh, important things of this blocking diodes uh, that will be available in the parallel uh, parallel connection of solar cells okay so we will see the details okay so maybe so as you want to know the mpvd or uh, everything so will be in the monday class and uh, economic analysis in the monday class okay okay va okay sir yeah so any doubts or uh, anything to be needed to clarify you can ask now come on Awesome. Yes. So, okay. So, th thank you all. So, on the idea, on the body, now I am watching. Yeah. So, projects. So, within a month, in the month, to pull a summit. Pon no. So, all of all of them, all of all of normal. Pon it. Yeah. So, except one or two, only. Only. Now, on the body, now topic. Only. Like that. On the month, plan. Path. Yeah. So, okay. Everyone, I am watching. Yeah. So, we will uh, see in the next class. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you sir